Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here, and in this tutorial, we're going to create some graffiti effects. Now, it's not what you think. Don't go drive your car underneath a freeway overpass, get out and start writing your name on the wall. But instead, we are going to do it digitally inside of After Effects. What an idea. So here's what we're going to create. Uh, the extra paint is just an added little number, but uh, you get the idea. Now, let's not waste any time. Today's my one-year wedding anniversary, and I've got plenty of stuff to do today. Um, yesterday, I went out and I bought some, some roses and some all this cool stuff, some chocolates and stuff. And uh, I just hope my wife got herself something as well because uh, it's going to be a pretty sad day, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, sad day for me, frankly. Um, in any case, let's go and get on with the tutorial. First thing to do, create a new composition. We use the NTSC DV. We'll call this writing. So we're going to make our animation. Choose OK. OK, first step, take the text tool and click in the comp. Go ahead and write whatever you want. I was going to write graffiti, but gosh, that's an impossible word to spell. I can't even, even Microsoft Word doesn't spell it right. So next best thing, my name, easy to spell. And I found this great font called Taggers Extreme. And I'm sure you can find it online somewhere possibly and we'll just uh, enlarge it and these settings work pretty well take a note now I'm gonna make the text red but you can make it whatever color you want okay what you want to do is take the pen tool and with the layer selected just draw around the text and just kind of figure a way to cover it all up like for the N, you can go down and then back up, up, down for the D. Just, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just try to cover the entire set of characters. And once you're done tracing it, it doesn't matter if you cross through it. Just, uh, Get the gist of it. And when you're done, just grab the selection tool. And so now we've created a mask. Now the next step, choose effect, generate, stroke. Okay, now the trick here is to cover up all the red by increasing the brush size as little as possible. So just start increasing it. And okay, so we have a few little red spots here, but instead of increasing it more, we can just fix the mask points. Okay, so once the red's all pretty much covered up, then just go to the stroke options and change it to reveal original image. So now we can see everything is fine. Then if we animate the end position, you can see that it sort of writes on. Um, so what you want to do is shut off the mask for now and just animate the end from 0% over 2 seconds to a hundred percent and depending on how long your animation is you can change that so here's what we have okay it's not perfect because of the way you know the effect works but it's pretty good for you know five seconds worth of work so okay next step create a new composition and we'll call this render comp and I'm gonna go into my trusty riot gear effects and you can find those online at videocopilot.net we're going to go into the grungy textures and the low resolution grayscale. And I'm going to take number four, sort of like a cement or a asphalt look. And number nine, just kind of a cool uh, wall. Now we want to turn these layers into 3D layers. So I'm going to hit F4 to bring up the switches and just turn on the 3D layer switch. And I'm going to take the floor and rotate it up and W brings up the rotation tool and then just bring it down to the floor level and then I'll take our other texture and just line it up with the floor see it kinda cuts through right about there and that should be good and we'll take it on the Z axis and just push it back a little bit so now we've sort of created you know an L in 3D space so I'm gonna create a new camera We'll use the 35 millimeter preset, choose OK. 
And now if we play with the camera tools, we can just kind of position this, move forward in here a little bit, and uh, create an interesting shot. Okay, then we'll create a new light. And we'll make it this kind of a pale, warm colored light. And that looks good. 125% intensity. Choose OK. That's pretty bright. So let's take it on the Z axis, back it up a little bit, and then bring it down. Uh, let's see. Now, the floor layer is a little dark. So let's bring that up using curves. And I'll just brighten it up a little bit. Okay. And that looks good. So. Let's go to our project and bring our writing composition in like so. So now we have this writing. But let's make it a 3D layer. And we want to position it onto this wall. So if we hit P on the position of the wall, we can simply select the name position, edit, copy, or you know use the shortcut, and then paste it into the position of the writing. Now there's no keyframe, so it just copies the the data of the position. So that's a quick way just to put it exactly against the wall. And also I like to change the transfer mode to classic color burn. Now our scene is a little hot so let's bring the intensity of the light down. And also let's add some contrast to our background layer. We'll call this the wall and we'll call this the floor. So with the wall layer select, I'm going to choose Effect, Color Correction, Curves, and just give it a little contrast curve. Let's see. It's pretty bright as it is, so maybe we just have to darken it a little bit. So that looks pretty good. And let's play with the intensity of the light. Pretty much 100% looks to be the, the number. So now we have this graffiti, and if we take our camera tools here, we can see we're now sort of in 3D space. So if we can animate the camera, P, hold down shift, A, we can bring up the options to animate this and we can just... Now you can use the motion tile technique to repeat the texture. So if you want to go beyond this edge here, what you can do is with the wall selected just choose effect, stylize, what is it called? motion tile. It's probably cut off there, but motion tile. And just extend the output width and then mirror the edges. And that'll give you a little bit more on uh, your left and on your right. So if you want to do uh, you know, a larger scene, um, that's a good way. But I'll just, uh, I'll just limit my camera movement. Okay, and I'll select the keyframes and hit F9. So it gives it kind of smooth in and out keyframes. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, we also might want to frame this up a little bit better, make it closer to the wall. Probably the person was like three feet tall that wrote this on the wall. Maybe right there. And the great thing is anything we want to change about this writing, we can just double click, alt, double click on the writing and change it in here. We can change, you know, we can make the color, we can make it a little darker. Um, and you can see, you know, it comes across a little bit darker, a little bit more neutral. Now, the other thing I did in the original example was added some ink splat elements. So I'm going to go back into Riot Gear and go down to the Paint Splatter Images. And basically, I just drag them out. And they're pretty large, so we can scale them down some. Now, these are pre-matted elements. So what you need to do is choose Effect, Channel, Set Matte and use the luminance value and that way you can start working with it and then simply just colorize it with a fill and you know I'll just use the red color I already have here and we'll just position this down here now I want to time it up to like right when the A is done there so right there and then I'll bring another one of these elements out and what I can do is just select the other layer copy the two effects and then paste it into this one and that way I don't have to reapply those. You can also make a animation preset so it automatically does that for you every time. And I'll just position this and one more for good measure. 
And we'll paste the uh, settings there as well. Okay, so now if we return to our render comp and uh, maybe reposition this up just a bit, let's play it back. Okay, so looking pretty good, pretty simple effect. Um, you know, you can use this for, uh, you know, doing a chalkboard effect, um, you know, someone writing on a chalkboard or pretty much anything you want. Just uh, depends on the font, depends on the application. Um, there's a few other things I did to kind of just add to the effect, and that is, you know, you can duplicate the writing layer, blur it out a little bit, and then bring the opacity of the layer down just so it, you know, doesn't look so perfect on the wall and that kind of adds to the effect a little bit and if you haven't already please come check out our online store we have a bunch of great products including the popular riot gear um, all at great prices of course so check them out and maybe find something you like and of course to all of our customers you guys are the ones that make these free tutorials possible so thank you guys a bunch and uh, we'll see you next time